it's not an opinion poll. It's, it's an opinion poll, I assure you. It has the legal quality of an opinion poll. Now, Article 50, nothing was legally binding until Article 50. Article 50 mm-hmm. could be rescinded very, very quickly. And if I was mm-hmm. the Prime Minister, I would put to the MPs, because remember, virtually 75% of our members of Parliament wish to remain. I know, I know, I, I, I'm the same with you. But as I so say, if, I was, if I was the Prime Minister, I would put to the uh-huh. Parliament, can I ask you all to vote tonight Aye. on backing for me to go to Europe and negotiate Remain? Because that's Aye. really what we want to do. But I think, I think the position we're in just now is that they're all debating, they're all debating, which, I mean, the Tories won the vote, which was good, so they cannot debate without another general election. We've had enough general elections in the last so many years. And we don't need we'll any of that. Parliament. We just need to go to Parliament and say, well, that would, that can I have permission? Can I have permission to go and negotiate Remain? But that's what would have happened if you'd have lost the vote that night. We'd have to have another problem of general election. So we can do without general elections. We can do without general of, elections, but all I'm saying is yeah. this is this is new thinking. This is big picture thinking. This is saying. Mm-hmm. This is saying 80, almost 80% of the people did not vote to leave. 75% of our MPs wish to remain. The mm-hmm. Prime Minister probably would wish uh-huh. to remain. So all you need to do is get permission to go to Europe, say, terribly sorry about the mix-up here. Can we remain? But we want a much better deal, including something on ag and fish. I don't think that's going to happen, Scooby. I know it's in a perfect world that could happen. But, I don't no, think but why, not, why not? That's all it needs. It just needs big picture thinking. Mm-hmm. That's what you're you see, Do you see where I'm but coming from? Are, and, and also then you might, you might head off some of the risk of the UK breaking up. Because if this Brexit right. goes ahead, Scotland will seek independence. So will Northern Ireland. In fact, so Some might England. Are, Sometimes, Scotty, 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 I think you massage some of the figures. Honest. No, I don't massage figures at all. Okay, 70 million, it's 69 million if you include Ulster, right? right? Okay. But, you know, that's hardly massaging. You're 17 million out of 69 million, or 17 million out of 70 million. There's no massaging anything there. You. you see? I see you're There's no massage. Yeah. And the latest count tonight is that fifth, between 54 and 58% wish to remain now. So that's changed uh-huh. in two and a half years with the knowledge. Uh huh. So let's not go crashing years. out. Two and a half years no. ago, it was the 48-52. Was it? Aye. Of course, aye. aye. So there well, you are. It's a bit better, isn't it? A bit better. See, I look after you people. I'm only interested. I have well, zero that. agenda. Well, I have no politics. I am not a political person. You know, no, I am no, completely aye. apolitical. But I do want what's best for the yes. people and for the future. So do I. Lovely talking to you. Thank you very much, Kay. To, to you. be continued. Yes. <laughs> Never give up. Cheers, my boy. To the telephones, folks, as quickly as possible. 0141 811 0475. You're listening to Scott. Dinky Doo. Evenings with ScotchWhiskeyAuctions.com, the world's largest online whiskey auction. Bidding to be the best. ScotchWhiskeyAuctions.com. Hi, it's John Mulgrew here. Nation Radio. Join me weekday afternoons from 1 o'clock for Nation Radio's More Music Daytime. Whether you're at work, in the car, or at home, I'll have more of the music you love to help the day fly by. It's the More Music Daytime with me, John Mulgrew. Weekday afternoons from 1 on the new station for Glasgow and the West. Nation Radio. Live across Glasgow and the West, this is Scotty McClue's Nightline on Nation Radio. Call Scotty now on 0141 811 0475 Don't forget the house rules No offensive language or you'll get a lifetime ban Ha ha! To your telephones Station clock is telling me we're coming up to 5 minutes past 11 and uh, we have a lot to get through tonight Very, 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 very busy as you'd expect on the World's Top talk show on the World's Top radio station Charles 
Hiya, Scotty. How is it going? How's it going, my boy? That was a very interesting gentleman that was on. A very intelligent gentleman. Yes. That's why I took <laughs> well, a bit of time with him, you know. <laughs> I don't know if it's too late, but happy New Year, Scotty. I don't know when it's uh, acceptable still to say it. <laughs> of course it is. It's never too late. Up until the 31st of December, you can wish me a happy 2019. <laughs> I, love, I love the show uh, as well. It was better than uh, what, what else is available. There is, there is nothing of this calibre available. And when I say that, people say, he's got a big head. Nothing to do with that. It's the oh, people that make the Scotty, show. Like the people Mr. make Mr. the show, you know? Scotty, I was just wanting to make the point. You were talking about Brexit and that there. Yes, yes. Uh, I was just wanting to make the point that uh, more people in Scotland voted for Brexit than who voted for the SNP in the last general election. Over a million yes, but- people... 67% voted not to leave. Yes, well, this is also true, but also... And you see, you're actually not comparing... Yesterday. Yes, but you're not comparing like with like there. What you're talking about, on one hand, is a vote for a political party, right? And it came in yeah, from yeah. 54% to 38%, if I remember right, correct? Well, Scotty, if you're, if you're one independence, you vote SNP. Well, you see, this is an interesting thing. What if I started a party tonight called the Scottish International Party? SIP, right? (laughs) And SIP won independence for Scotland under the crown remaining in Europe. That would be my... That would be my... um, um, Manifesto. Sorry, Scott. A point, another point I want to make as well. See, uh, in the independence referendum. Yes. The SNP made it clear that we would be out of the, out of the EU if we voted to leave the United Kingdom. They didn't care yeah. much about the EU then. If we voted to... Well, no, they did. I mean, I discussed it. You'll hear me discuss that um, just a week before the, the vote in 2014. You know, and we were very strong in that because the question was, and this is what's very often asked, why do you want out of one union and into another? And the point is, they are absolutely, totally different. One union is very pro-Scotland and the other is not. Now, you look at the way Scotland... Oh, no, 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 no. You look at the way Scotland gets treated by Westminster. They've been asset stripped. So since Mrs. Mm. Thatcher, this country, where are the shipyards? Where is the heavy industry? Where is our steel? Where are our car works? Where are jobs for everyone? Now, wait a minute, though. Where where are jobs for everyone? Where is, yes, yes, the docks. Where are the docks? Where is the shipping? Where is the shipbuilding? Where, uh, sorry? Time moves on, Scotty. Well, it's all very well, it's all very well. Yeah, but hold on, it's all very, no, no, and I I remember Willie Hamilton, who unfortunately was very misguided about the royal family, but he did say he would, he was the MP for East Fife, and he did say that he would like to see the day when no man ever had to go down a pit again. Well, well Monk, Monk, he, Monk, he would be seeing that Monk, day. Monk, 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 Absolutely. They died with any ill health. Yes, no, no, listen. We owe a great, great debt of gratitude to the miners. Certainly an awful yeah. lot more than the way they were treated in, uh, in uh, you know, the 1980s. And um, I think what we've got to look at here, we say, that's fine, but we need to have places like Greenock, Paisley, Kilmarnock, Glasgow itself, um, you know, all these towns, Cumbernauld, Kilsyth, they all need to start flourishing again. But Scotland, Aberdeen. It's not, it's, not, it's not just Scotland, it's over the through the United Kingdom. It's, yes. Time's moving on, everyone's going online. Absolutely, well, people, let's go, people, let's go, let's go online, but let's bring the money are, back into people Scotland. Are, people, people are losing their jobs because of machines. That's yes. Day with Margaret Thatcher. This is what thirty, forty year old. Business. Well, this is the white heat of technology that Harold Wilson yep. talked about. Hmm. You know, and that's going back a bit. You're talking the early sixties, so you know I'm you're into. 
50, 50 Sorry, years. I'm trying to figure out if uh, Nicola Sturgeon's a unionist or not because she she's desperate to be she's desperate to be ruled by the European Union, but she's desperate to go to the United States. Yeah, but the Union. point you're missing, as I say to you, there is absolute no. It's not strange at all. There is no comparison. Look at what the EU has done for Scotland, apart from in Ag and Fish. Right? There's problems in Ag and Fish, but. Look at what the European Union has done for Scotland. Think back to the old Killer A9 when people were losing their lives all the time, when the roads went through um, Glenfarg and Dunkeld and, and Pitlochry. Any government should have done that as progress. Yes, progress. But, have but, have but have the, the money that. came in from Europe. Look what Europe's done for Ireland. If you go over to Ireland and see the remember, progress the, Ireland's made. The United, Kingdom's get, uh, the United Kingdom puts a lot of money into Europe to get it back as well. Yeah, but the United Kingdom is taking a lot of money from Scotland. Well, we're, we're giving the, the European Union 39 billion. So yes, well, no, but billion. listen, listen. Seven, that's seven that's billion could have uh, sorted the A9. No, but listen to me. Scotland hands that away every year to Westminster. And, uh, Every sorry, year, one more thing. More, uh, you see, no, but you, uh, you, no, but wait a minute, you're 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 glossing oh, over this. You're glossing over this. Scotland every year pays what the the EU are looking to leave. Scotty, see uh, the national society is our water, is our air, it's our uh, renewable energy, it's our fish, it's our whiskey. Correct. It's meant to be liberal. It doesn't it doesn't sound very liberal to me. No, that sounds that sounds extremely liberal. All they're saying is, look, this is ours because there's pressure it's, it's coming from Westminster it's, to say, no, it's, no, no, it's not. It's ours. Do you see what I'm saying? Yours. There needs to be a lot more. You see, you, you've got to look back to the Act of Union of 1707. Now, it so should be 50-50. Well, no, but okay. let's look back to 1707. Sorry, that union, sorry, let's, sorry, let's sorry, look at this. Sorry, hold on, sorry, hold on, sorry, hold on. Please, please, hold please, on, please, please, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Please, please, as a legal please, document, please, please, as a legal document yes, that, that should be a 50 50 deal so uh, all this sorry, stuff that sorry. we're getting from westminster yes. oh never Please mind scotland you've got nothing go on jump in i give way to you Please. sir what about all the kingdoms of scotland that you need to create the kingdom of scotland what if they want to absolutely what about the kingdom of Fife? kingdom of what fife absolutely you know what? would would what fife want to scotland? go independent would fife want to go independent remember in those days though the, 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 yeah, well, if you want to go back, remember that the capital of Scotland moved. Dunfermline was yes. the capital of Scotland. Perth was the capital of Scotland. Yes. Stirling, our broth. Don't forget where the, where the, the beef fat was. <laughs> you see, all that sort of off. stuff. So, yeah. I mean, this is why it's so important that the Scots have a voice and can discuss story. this. Well, we're not looking back. I don't go to Bannockburn on that. I'm talking about tomorrow. I'm talking about well, what so happens it seems to me tomorrow. The, SM, the SNP sees <coughs> all the European countries as neighbours, but they don't see England as neighbours. That, that is you... also, listen, that's not the SNP. Long before the SNP was ever formed, and it grew out of the Labour Party. It was formed by Labour supporters, yeah, no, have, right? Yeah, so you know no. that. So it grew out of the Labour Party, and that's why Labour and the SNP have always hated each other, because you couldn't get a fag paper between them. So... Scotty, did you know that Arthur Donaldson, the, the, one of the founders of the SNP, was uh, imprisoned for being a being a traitor in uh, World War Two? Yeah, but of course Arthur, I did. Arthur but Donaldson. if you look, yeah, but if you look at any of that, you look at Labour people, you look at at, um, at Maxwell and all these characters, uh, sorry, Maxton and John McLean and all these characters, you look right back, Churchill would have had the whole lot of them in prison. They were in prison. Okay. John McLean well, was in prison. Well, Arthur Donaldson, according to an MI6 document, says that uh, he wanted Hitler to invade Great Britain in the hope that he uh, could show Hitler that Scotland wasn't in this, in this war and when... The, I think the words were, uh, when the United Kingdom's in fire and fury, it can, uh, it can do a deal with Hitler and basically be under a uh, German rule. Yes, I but what you're forgetting, let's put this in context. Everybody, 
right, including the British Parliament and the British royal family wanted to do a deal with Hitler Scotty, at that time. Queen Elizabeth was uh, working in that the armed forces then, fixing cars and all that. Absolutely, but her uncle, people, her uncle Scottish was talking, her uncle... And Arthur Donaldson was saying this. Yeah, but her uncle was talking to Hitler, the king's brother, who had been the king of this country, was also um, talking to Hitler. Everybody was involved in the appeasement movement, and then they blackened their name afterwards because Churchill wanted to fight. Well, I, I mean, yeah, what was I'm what on, was his? Well, 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 yeah, absolutely. But, uh, you know, a lot of the British aristocracy were for the appeasement movement. What did Rudolf Hess well, want when he crash landed? Well, it's because, it's because he, he, what just happened in World War One, we couldn't, he, we couldn't face it again. But we had to, and we done it. Yeah, but they wanted Chamberlain Arthur, came Arthur, back. Arthur, Ch- Chamberlain Arthur came Donaldson back. Was they want that, was he? Yeah, but Chamberlain came back and he said, peace in our time. Chamberlain didn't want it either. <laughs> He didn't want to. It was, it was caused a bad deal with Germany and it all kicked off again. Yeah, but it all kicked off again, but you've got to look at the background. In 1919, in the Treaty of Versailles, we were far too severe in our yeah. punitive measures. Oh, I'd agree with that. But and what happened, we... Britain used to supply 75% of the world's coal. And when they were putting the pressure on Germany at the end of uh, 1919, when Germany was completely beaten, and they said, and another thing, give us cheap coal. And that completely knocked the British market. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that was the start. That was the start that gave rise to Hitler. And I think you've got to monitor these things, but you've also got to look that the British government, the British aristocracy, who were closely connected at the time, all the big business people, they were all pro-Germany at the time. Well, that's, that, that is also correct. Until you know, they were Germany even going to the Munich still... rallies and saying, it's you quite know, exciting. It's quite exciting. It's exciting, but not during wartime, Scotty. During wartime, Arthur Donaldson wanted, wanted Hitler to invade Britain in the hope that Scotland could be independent under German rule. That sounds awfully familiar nowadays, doesn't it? It sounds off it, but listen, that shouldn't be, uh, as I say, darkening the name of the National Party because they got well, called the communists. The party. They got that's called the com- well, the no, the the SNP. You had an aristocrat, yeah, two yeah, aristocrats. Know, so, uh, it's moved on. It's moved on a bit. It's moved on. You had two aristocrats at the time. You've got the chairman of the Labour Party. Yeah, but Scotty, my point I was I was originally trying. Yeah, Keir Hardy involved. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, you're right, I know that. Good man. No. Yeah, you know that, but the rest of the nation don't know that. Scotty, when Scotland had the referendum, they knew we would be leaving the EU. But the SNP were quite happy with that. We'll deal with that later. But now the United Kingdom is voted to no, leave wait a minute, the hold on, that's hold on. The they... That's wrong. What you're saying, you're saying when Scot- if Scotland had got independent, they knew they'd be leaving? Yes. 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 Well, well the, the yes, United Kingdom, that, Scotland. Yeah, but, yeah, but listen to me. Listen to me. Yeah, but listen to me. Scotland are not members of the EU. The UK exactly. hold the membership the card. They hold the membership yeah. card. But Don't we have been told on very good authority that we'd be welcomed back very, very quickly. Because <sighs> Scotland. Spain, yeah, but Scotland Spain, has it got. So that's that. Games are bogey. Yeah, but I mean, they'd have to go along with the others. Spain's only one oh, country. Come on. Spain says and they would Spain also says need to know, and excuse me, but poor old Spain's only found stability relatively recently. You know, so what would Spain that, like that, under that, General Franco? That doesn't make sense, though, does it? Because Spain said no, and if Spain says no, that means no, because that's a veto. Yeah, but that's just one. That's just one, but it's a veto, so that's it. Yeah, but that's what, no, that's not it. That's just so one we country. Them, so you yeah, need so to convince them. So it depends. It depends on the, yes. It depends on the quality of Scotland. Absolutely, but that's not a problem. It depends so on the quality a, so of Scotland's lobbying. Well, we're always <laughs> living in hope. We're always living in hope. I mean, I mean, for goodness sake, look what's going on at the moment. Everybody hopes we will be remaining. 
Well, Scott, it came where it is. The United Kingdom voted to leave. I didn't, I didn't vote that. But United Kingdom voted to leave and see what the United Kingdom government... No, wait a minute, hold on, stop, 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 no, no, sorry, stop. We need to keep you credible here, right? Now, we've done a wonderful job. Between you and I, you still have your credibility intact here, right? No problem. So, you're doing your best, you're doing awfully well. But, the thing is... You're saying the United Kingdom voted to leave. It was the United Kingdom vote. No. Where are you getting that the from? The United Kingdom No. 20% voted to leave. That means 80% have not voted to leave. You know what? It was a very small term, it's got to. You know what? But it doesn't matter. Don't really care. No, they don't care, but they're, but, they're, but they're, they're caring now and the xenophobia is creeping in and all that nonsense. But the thing is, the 80% that remains a fact, or 79%, whatever way you want to put it, have not voted leave. That is not democracy. That is not the United Kingdom. That is not the British people have spoken. So all that is utter bunkum. So, Scotty... In your opinion, would you think we would have to have another referendum? I think the they, I think well, there's two ways to do this. Because One, if you trust, it, we won very well. Who's we? Sorry, because I, I voted uh, to remain in the United Kingdom. Right, so they didn't no, win I, I, high I, I, at all. Yeah, but yeah, but that, the, yeah, but the win was not high. The win was a whisper. Five percent. I think it's going the other way now. I think you'll find that most people that. would want to be independent now. Yeah, but, nevertheless, two things, two, two things here. No, 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 I'm just I'm just telling it like it is. I'm not stirring any pots here. I'm just telling it like it is. And I'm telling it like it is from an apolitical, from an apolitical standpoint. And that's very, very good for the people to hear that. Because I'm not pushing any agenda. I'm not trying to sell anything to anybody here. Well, I'm just giving well, I'm just you the I facts. Get, I'm just like, I'm got, I want to give you the facts again. Most right. people in Scotland voted to leave the EU than who voted the SNP. No, no that's not. Know. Yeah, but you're, you're not. Com you're comparing apples and pears. No, listen no, to no. me. Have no, you yes. No, no. No, listen, listen to me. 67 to listen to me listen to me 67 percent of the scottish people voted to stay in the eu right 54 percent voted for the snp and that went down to 38 percent because some aberdeenshire farmers were angry because they had to get their payments and they'd obviously been to the try, pub I to right? so they'd been to the pub right so that's that's because that's, i actually said at the time i tweeted to them don't let aberdeenshire farmers go to the pub before they go to the polling station <laughs> Because they were on, ah, oh, yeah, that's the SNP at their wings, a bit clipped now, eh? Ha, <laughs> ha, you know, and then you say, right, ha, ha, you'll not be getting your payment. Ha, <laughs> ha, you know, well, it's all that I kind of nonsense. Well, Scotty, yeah. Of course there is. So ag and fish are very important. And if, if I was political, I would be fighting for ag and fish because I used to be very against the concept of us being in Europe because it was costly Great and it did tremendous, course. yes, it did tremendous damage to Aberdeen, Oban, uh, Arbroath, Montrose, Tarbot, Ardrishig, you know, you name it. Estornaway, all these things, and also all the green fields. Scotland is the larder yeah. of Europe. Yeah, Scotty, there's one thing, I'm, I was quite indifferent about uh, Brexit, but one thing that I, I'm off quite uh, strongly with is uh, the, the fishermen. These, these these people voted for this on the promise that they would get their fishing waters back. If they're not getting yes. that back, I think that the vote was invalid then. Well, yes, absolutely, we That's should be fighting for. for that. Now, I'm going to have to go, but you take care of yourself and dinky do. Right, I'm speak to you again. Thank Lovely you talking time. to you, dinky do la. 0141 is the telephone number. We are stowed out the door and stab at food. We'll get as many of you on as possible. Uh, you're listening to Scotty McClure on Nation Radio. Back after this. Evenings with ScotchWhiskeyAuctions.com Buy and sell whiskey with the world's largest online whiskey auction. ScotchWhiskeyAuctions.com 
from the 80s. 80s. Shoulder pads, perms, leg warmers. The fashion might not have stood the test of time, but the music certainly has. That's why every Sunday on Nation Radio, we celebrate the 80s all day long. From 6am to 6pm, every song we play is from the 80s. From those massive number ones to the one-hit wonders you haven't heard in ages. You'll hear them all on 80s Sunday. Nation Radio. This, this is Scotty McClue's Nightline. Have your say. Have your say. Call 0141 811 0475. Nation Radio. Yes, indeed. You're listening to Scotty McClure. We're live on Nation Radio. That's the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's listening to. A fabulous, fabulous radio station. I'm not just saying that because I'm on it. I'm saying that is why I am on it. To your telephones, 01418110475. Lots to talk about. Back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Can you hear me? Right, if you're not there when I, uh, I go to you, then I shall have to move on because we are very, very, very busy tonight. We have lots to talk about. Time is tight. We have to finish in just over half an hour. The big bosses, big bosses, have decreed that the bar shuts at midnight sharp. So to your telephones, let's get you on. We're talking about so many things tonight. We um, are not a political programme, obviously, but we have been talking about Brexit and um, We've been talking about Prince Philip getting back in the driving seat as soon as possible. Obviously, we send um, best wishes to Prince Philip and to the other people who were involved in the car accident yesterday, the road accident um, at Sandringham. But uh, I hope all are well and recovering, and uh, I send warm best wishes to all of them involved. And uh, very glad that um, things weren't any worse than they were. But I do think Prince Philip had his new car delivered this morning, his new Land Rover, and um, I do hope he gets back into the saddle, as they say. I think that is very, very important. If you'd like to make a comment on that, do feel free to do so. 0141811-0475. If you agree with our callers or disagree with our callers, feel free to pick up your telephone. Remember, you're only talking to Scotty McClure. It's like phoning your granny or your auntie Fanny. There should be nobody in Scotland who, um, you know, feels that they cannot phone Scotty McClue live on Nation Radio. That's why we have the phone in. It is for your benefit. It is very, very important that you realise that Nation Radio is geared up for its audience. The most important people to Nation Radio are you, the people of of Scotland. Dinky do I say. That's why we give you the very, very, very finest of music 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with the exception, the exception of a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 10 o'clock sharp through until midnight with me, Scotty McClue, live in the radio just for you. Nation Radio. Back to the telephones. We are stout at the door and stab it through. Keep your calls coming. Be like Robert the Bruce and the Spider. If at first you don't, succeed try 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 again back to the phones you're live on scotty's phone in who's that God. who's jizo can you hear me it's i can i can jizo of course we can hear you are you there hello I think he's gone. <laughs> a dafty. He was listening to his radio again. He hadn't turned it down when the wizard of the big switchboard told him to. All right? So when you're coming on, guys, you turn your radios down, and then we can hear you. It doesn't feed back down your telephone. 041 811 0475. 0141 811 0475. Did you hear him on there? He's going, oh, jeez, oh, all that sort of stuff. Quite interesting. And um, the Wizard of the Big Switchboard will take your call. Barbarian! No, it's no Barbarian. It's a... Uh, uh, I'm Barbarian. 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 <laughs> Barbarian. sister of the Barbarian, you know. You're the Barbarian's sister. 
Aye, you didn't score. You, you sound as if you've had a light refreshment. <laughs> oh, no, no. A wee lemonade. A lemonade? A wee bit sherry. A wee bit sherry in your lemonade? A wee, a wee bit sherry in my lemonade. <laughs> I, I yeah. think you had more sherry than lemonade. <laughs> well, it was a big glass, Ken. Ken. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> no bad, Lala. Are you enjoying it? Been, oh, I've been like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I've not enjoyed it at all. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm enjoying listening to you. <laughs> it was a wee bit clever. It would be a wee bit over your head right enough, so no problem with that. It'd be a wee bit out your depth. You'd be a wee bit out your depth there, but don't worry. My wee mensa scores about 30. That's fair. It's excellent. Still join in the quiz. With I think you should join join in the quiz, and I think you should continue with your two piece jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> and you oh. can refer to the instructions. <laughs> oh well, I'm going to work in IKEA because you obviously know how that all works. I know how all that works. I've built a few billies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you must have a lot of books there. <laughs> oh, books! 34 boxes, are you wanting any? <laughs> no, I can get them for like 10 pence each. Lovely. They are, that's where I get mine. <laughs> it's wonderful. Who's the dafty in the background? Oh, that's my ma. Right, oh, your ma? Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon, I didn't mean that. Tell yeah, your ma I do shop. not think she's a dafty. Tell her she's that. She's shuffling about talking about Brexit. She's talking about Brexit, that's it. That's because she's dropped a couple of cups tonight. Well, <laughs> she's, uh, well she's no other. <laughs> she's not giving me a full deck, eh? <laughs> Un unlike yeah. her boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, son, no, no, no problem at all. <laughs> I haven't told the nation that you and I are related. <laughs> She's just shuffling about, talking about Brexit. She's talking about Brexit. I think she should. I think she might make a better job. <laughs> If I up her tablet, she may be a better joke. <laughs> I think some of them have upped their tablets. <laughs> some of them, they should, they'd be a neat up her tablets. She could actually run the country. She could run the country if her tablets were upped. Well, Maybe we should you know, put that into a political speech, you know, when somebody's running for parliament, they could say, and I promise you I will up my tablets. <laughs> yes, well, you could say, I will promise you I will up my tablet. But they may not be running for pre president or party. They might be, they might be they walking. Be <laughs> Shuff she's room shuffling room. for parliament. <laughs> and if they remember to go over, they're actually going, they may get to go to be going into parliament. But then the problem, I will, what am I doing here anyway? I don't know what you're doing there. Listen, you'd better away because Santa's <laughs> coming the night and I want you to put your stocking up. <laughs> my stockings have been <laughs> but been, uh, uh, You're still waiting for Santa. <laughs> Listen, can I congratulate you? Can I congratulate you? For getting the steam No, for, for getting the... No for getting the stabilizers off your bike. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I well congratulations to for you, you know. Absolutely. What for? Stabilizers on your three wheeler for your life. <laughs> <laughs> you must get that mark now, ain't you? Yeah. You must be sticking your tongue out and saying ta 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 ta. Right there he goes. He's away. Oh one four one eight double one oh four seven five. 
and uh, the some poor soul with something intelligent to say wait to get on uh, to your telephones as quickly as possible but we have all comers on here folks so I am not wanting anybody thinking I can't ring because I might be perceived as being a wee bit daft alright that's not the end of the world on here I've no time for these phone ins that don't put quality people on just because they're not the full shilling 01418110475 is the telephone number. You're listening to Scotty McClure. We're live on Nation Radio. We are exceptionally, and I mean exceptionally busy tonight. We haven't had a peep of air between your calls. The Wizard of the Big Switchboard is doing a wonderful job. We've got 25 minutes left according to the station clock of Friday the 18th of January 2019. Uh, time is very, very tight. Use every second of that well and use every second of it wisely. Scotty McClure, if you've just joined us, then uh, I'll spell it for you. If you're an alien life form from another planet and you haven't heard of me, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E is the Scotty, the McClure, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. You uh, can get in touch with us via the telephone, 0141811-0475. Can I suggest you uh, get that number down with the aid of a stub of a hard black pencil and a threepenny jot of knee batter beside your telephones and always have that number handy because we will be having a serious debate like we've had a bit of tonight you will be driving around in your car and when it's safe and hands-free to do so then you will say i want to talk to scotty about what he's talking about what's the number you see, you should have taken it down when you had the chance. Program it into your telephones. Most of us have got mobile phones or access to mobile phones now. So 01418110475. Get that into your telephone. Put it in as Nation Radio S. Maxi. All right. Nation Radio S. Maxi. And then it means you can uh, get access to the telephones. You can also hear us online at www.nationradio.scot. You can go to your app store and download either Radio Player when you put in Nation Radio 96.3 FM Scotland or tune in when you put in Nation Radio Scotland. So either the TuneIn app or the Radio Player app. For those of you who have got smart speakers, if you've got the Amazon Echo, then you can shout out, Alexa, play Nation Radio Scotland. Alexa, play Nation Radio Scotland. Back to the telephones. We'll start at the door and stop at Foo Marie. Hi, Scotty. Hello, my darling. How are you tonight? I'm very well. I just wanted to tell you something. Yes. Um, I used to listen to you years ago, right? Not that you're yes. that old, but... No, I'm not. I'm 34. 34 me. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Right. Well, what I wanted to say was, I think you've got some wisdom, right? Because you helped me stop smoking. I used wow. I my pen club king size. Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't advertise, but it doesn't matter. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, no, that's all right. Yeah, so you used to smoke cigarettes. So I used to smoke my wee cigarette and have a wee glass of wine of a Friday night. Right. I was trying to give up and I found it really difficult. And then you came on one night and it was the words that you said, I think it was something like, are you going to let a wee thing like that beat you? If Absolutely. That? And yet, and Absolutely. You know, Ever since then, I stopped smoking, so I just wanted to thank you, because I'm in very good health, I'm nearly 50, and it's thanks to you, Scotty. Oh, my darling, I love that. That is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> We've had one or two claims to fame, so I've, I've stopped you smoking, and uh, somebody called their baby Scotty after me, and somebody was talking about turning Glasgow Airport into Scotty McClure International, and they were going to put a statue of me in George Square. So we're doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So thank you. 
Francie, no, listen, Marie, it's a pleasure and a privilege, and I'm so glad you're back with us, uh, because people don't realise this, but when I wasn't on the radio in Scotland, and they said that whoever was responsible for me not being on the radio should spend the rest of their life standing in the corner with their back to the audience wearing a dunce's hat. And that was one, and then the other one is, I go down south and broadcast, you see? So I was in Manchester and Sheffield and Preston and um, Newcastle and the Midlands and London. I was doing all the broadcasting there, you see? And people don't realise that in Scotland. They go, oh, what happened to him? See, nothing happened to him. <laughs> I'm busier than Santa and I, I realised that if Santa has a sherry and a mince pie in every single house no wonder you only see him once a year <laughs> well, it was lovely to speak with you. Lovely to hear from you and I'm glad that you gave up the gas buzz and you've got a high quality of life darling yes. long long life to you and, and, and strong health and dinky do. <laughs> You. Bless you. Night, night, angel. Bless you. Our wee Marie there. Fantastic. Gave up the fags because she used to listen to Scottish McClure. 0141 811 0475 is the telephone number. Let's have your calls. Use this gift to the nation well and use it wisely. Fantastic stuff. The Wizard of the Big Switchboard will sort you out. We've only got minutes, folks. We've got 20 minutes. So I want to be talking right up up till midnight to a member of the Scottish public. Um, now, we've got uh, lots of discussing tonight. We send, of course, strength out to Prince Philip and uh, the lady who um, was uh, the ladies in the other car and the little baby. Thank goodness everyone is safe. And uh, it could have been a lot worse. Minor injuries. I think um, one had some cuts to her knee. One had a broken wrist. And uh, Prince Philip checked out OK. The baby checked out OK as well, which is fabulous. And um, I think that they should all get back in the driving seat again. Very, very important. Because that's what you have to do after a bump like that. And it could happen to anyone. So I'm not prepared to uh, be condemning his Royal Highness for the fact he's in his 98th year. He's uh, a first-class driver, been driving all of his adult life and um, has a pretty good driving record. 0141 0475 is the telephone number. You're listening to Scotty McClure and Nation Radio with Scotty McClure's Nightline. Back after this. Evenings with ScotchWhiskeyAuctions.com Get something for nothing with 0% commission for all sellers ScotchWhiskeyAuctions.com Derek McIntyre More Music Breakfast Hi, this is Derek McIntyre Join me each morning from 6 to 10am for Nation Radio's More Music Breakfast During the week, I'll get you thinking with the Mind Masher after 7, plus the latest news and travel every 30 minutes on your way into work then, at the weekend, I'll play more of the music you love to start your day. More music breakfast from 6 to 10 a.m. on 96.3 Nation Radio. Scotty McClue's Nightline. 96.3 Nation Radio. Call Scotty now. 0141 811 0475. Nation, Nation Radio. on the radio what a fantastic radio station nation radio is enjoy every second of it folks the music is absolutely outstanding make the switch now because it must be 20 years since we had any decent radio offerings in scotland since the days of scott fm that was the big one off to the telephones we're very very busy keep your calls coming right up to midnight 01418 dell Hi, D hi, Scott. How's it on, Lala? I'm all right. Are you I okay? Love you when you're on Scott FM. Really? Do you go back as far as that? That's fantastic. Lovely to hear oh, you. Hi. Welcome hi. back, Dale. Well, welcome back. Hi, I'm, I'm, I just managed to get this station uh, two weeks ago. Fantastic. Where are you phoning from, Dale? Can look. Oh, for Kaluk, excellent stuff. Uh, I know it very, very well. Uh, 
<laughs> Nay bother, uh, and you've just got the station, and have you, have you told Ten to tell Ten to tell Ten to tell Ten about aye, it? I have. Excellent. Aye, Excellent. Aye, tell the world. Aye. If everybody tells aye, everybody, aye. that's what it's all about. Aye. Now aye. then. Uh, what was the one to talk about? It was the TV licence, Scotty. TV licensing, right? On you go. Aye. Uh, £150. £150. £150. Is it worth that? A year. Huh? Is it worth that? No. £150. See. I only watch Emmerdale and Coronation Street. So right. I have to listen to my so, CDs. Right, so listen to me. You're watching ITV. So uh, why are you paying the BBC? I don't know. I don't See, watch this is what's interesting. No, you don't watch it. So you're paying no. the BBC, who have got the uh, licensing franchise for television, and you're no. only watching ITV. Now you get Scotty McClue for free. Right? I know. It doesn't I cost know. you a penny. And that's the highest no. quality program in the country at the moment. I know. I know. It's brilliant. You see? So there I you go, say, and you get that for free. I listen to Scott FM. Absolutely. Now, I can, the Sky FM didn't cost you a penny either. And uh, no. we had uh, about quarter of a million people listening every half hour. Aye. You know, fantastic. Now, is what I was going to say to you... Is, go on. Is the, go on. Is the, license, is the license not part of the radio? No. Not for, not for Nation or Scott FM. So they're independent commercial radio stations. So they sell oh, advertising. Got, you weren't Scott FM is it finished now? Scott FM uh, is not on anymore, no. It's not on. Right. It finished right. about 20 years ago. Did it? Aye. Yeah. About, 18, about uh, 17 or 18 years ago, I think, was the end of Scott FM. And that was the <laughs> finest radio station in Scotland at the time. Uh, and Nation uh, Radio, Nation Radio has um, really... Uh, it's it's gone in there as the number one radio station. Aye, as I can not like it. I love it. I love the music. The music's fabulous. Absolutely outstanding. <laughs> yep. So yep. that's. I think that's the way ahead for radio in Scotland is Nation Radio and then whatever Aye. whatever the BBC have put out. You know. Aye, I like I like the stuff they play. Seventies, sixties, seventies. Tremendous. Seventies, eighties, all that. And the presenters are Aye. terrific. Derek McIntyre, John Mulgrew, Aye. Susie Maguire. Know. You know, Tracy, Tracy Cunningham. Yes, Aye. Matt Vintese and uh, <laughs> Brian Wolfie Wolfson. You know. <laughs> And Scotty so McClure, we mustn't, we I mustn't week, forget Scotty McClure. I missed it last week again, you were both. Ah, uh, no, I know, I missed it as well, I was, I was annoyed, but it's just, it's engineering, you have to do something. You know what I, I mean? Know. The technical side, uh, you've got to just, we, ha we had to, we had to uh, rip out the studio and find, find the, the wee gremlin. <laughs> The wee gremlin. Absolutely, the wee gremlin. Send me into the wiring. <laughs> no, no, they're better. They're better if I don't touch that. <laughs> How are you anyway? Are you, are you, where, where is it you're phoning from roughly? Is it Glasgow? No, Kaluk. Oh, Kaluk, you said, sorry. So you're out in Kaluk now. We're very, very, Aye. very big in Lanarkshire. I and we're know. very big in well, Stirling and Falkirk. I just, I, I just found it two weeks ago. Fantastic. Well, make sure everybody in Kirluk knows about what it. Happened, what happened was, I was on my station on the car. Aha, uh -huh. that's the one. And very good. 96.3. I thought, I thought, what's that? <laughs> Nation Radio. I didn't care where it was. Oh. Ten. Do you not have the wee thing that comes up and tells you? Aye, it does, aye. aye comes it up and tells you. Radio on here. That's it. Nation Radio. Nation Radio, that's it. That's excellent. That's what we want on there. Aye, aye, <laughs> aye, well, aye. listen, it's I been know. lovely, lovely, lovely talking to you. And, it's uh, been nice talking to you, Scott. My first time, Paul. Oh. oh, well, listen, it'll not be the last. You'll be on, and you no. and I will be having a right good blather. Aye. A good chit chat. Good boss, a good bit good of boss. Scottish banter. <laughs> <laughs>
Aye, and dinky do, my boy. You take care. Right, thank you, <laughs> Dinky do, la. Right, to the telephones, 0141 811 0475. Scotty McClure, quick word about social media. Those of you that are on Facebook, Nation Radio Scotland. All right? Get on to the Facebook page and click like. I'll do it with you. Here we go. Nation Radio Scotland. I just need to put in N. How smart am I? And uh, I see 3,800 of you have joined us. It'd be nice if that was 4,000 by the end of tonight. So everybody listening, grab your phone um, or go on to your PCs, your laptops, um, whatever you've got. And um, Nation Radio Scotland and then click like you'll see the thumbs up on the right hand side you, when you the page opens up you'll see a lovely picture of Glasgow you've got STV's headquarters you've got the Squinty Bridge you've got one half of the rotunda from the old Finiston Tunnel and to the left you'll see some very stylish architecturally um, designed flats they look like steps, and you'll see about five bushes. And um, just to the right, you'll see a thumbs up that says like. If you can all click that, then that should take us up towards the 4,000 mark. Okay, and I can see if you're doing it, so I'll do it with you. Here we go, no problem at all. Right, and I shall click like on there. So I go on to Facebook. Facebook. And uh, when it's magnifying glass, you just put in Nation Radio Scotland, right? And then up comes the page. And what I'll do is, well, I've already liked it, so I can't like it again. So you'll all have to like it, okay? If you all like it, that is fantastic. I shall share it um, on to my Facebook page. So Scotty McClue's Facebook page, you should get that coming up right now. So there it is, and I shall write Dinky Do from Scotty McClue. There we are. Scotty McClue, S-C-O-T-T-I-E. Scotty McClue. And that comes up, Dinky Do from Scotty McClue. And listen new, I'll put just as a wee bit of light-hearted levity and banter. Listen new. So you'll see that if you go on, uh, I've posted that right to uh, Scotty McClue's Facebook page. And if you like Nation Radio Scotland right now, then I can see. Oh, well done, guys. Woo! Let's see if we can make that 4,000. 3,811. So we've had a big change there. And if we can get more of you doing that, that would be fantastic. 3,811. If everybody else could pick up the phones and go to Nation Radio Scotland on Facebook and like it, that would be great. Fabulous. There we are. Yep. Good. I'm just watching to see who's doing it. So let's have more of you on there. That's fantastic. Good. Okay, that's that. Now, also, a word about Twitter. If you get yourself on to Nation Scotland on Twitter. So if you've got a Twitter account, Nation Scotland. This has all come in since we were on Scott FM. When we're on Scott FM, you didn't have this. So I'm going to tweet to you. I'm going to send you um, a wee picture. There we are. Scotty McClure is now widely regarded as the world's greatest media asset. Whoever has McClure has the market. And I shall send that to at Nation Scotland. Okay, at Nation Scotland. That's going on there. And I'll put uh, hashtag Dinky Do. Fast becoming the biggest hashtag on the internet. Hashtag Dinky Do. And I'll put at Scotty McClure. At Scotty McClure. That's that on there. And I'll put listen. L I S T E N. And I'll put radio. R A D I. Oh, 
and I'll put news. Okay, hashtag, and that should be with you. And if you can all retweet that um, news, and there we go, excellent. Listen, radio, news, and I'll put retweet, hashtag retweet. Okay, good. Now, that's getting tweeted, so you should see that come into your Twitter on uh, Nation Radio and on Scotty McClure's Twitter retweet, and you should have that there, and if you can retweet it. Back to the telephones. We're very, very tight for time. Stuart. Scotty, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Not too bad. Scotty, just one here for you this evening. Our uh, friend here, the... Duke of Ed, Prince Philip. Okay, Stuart, you're sounding, Stuart, 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 let me stop you. You're sounding a wee bit distant. Have you got your thumb over the microphone? Yes, that's better. Yes. Right. What can I do for you? Prince Philip. So, Prince Philip had a crash, but nobody knows what's happened. The man. No. Yep. He's, he's an excellent driver. Okay. Yes. He's, he's one of the Admiral of the Fleet. Yes. Okay. Now, Scotty. We have, everybody's going on about how he's too old to drive, he's this, he's that, he's the next thing. What about the young chap that's on the road? I think, Scotty, that we should, every 10 years, everybody who drives on the road should take a, some form of assessment to see if they're fit, still fit to be on the road. What's your thought, yes. Scotty? Well, there is that, but the only thing is it would be very expensive and somebody would end up making a few more quid out of it and they would say, you'll need to take your assessment, it's 100 quid by the way, and somebody shoves 99 quid of that in their pocket. So I would be a little bit concerned from that point of view because most people, now an accident is an accident yep. and there can be a number of causes Yes, Absolutely. and there are accidents happening all the time. How often do you pass an accident on the road? Really, quite a lot. I see you know? In the M74, where yes. the car was into the crash barrier. Oh, I think the ambulance was there, the police was there, there was an Arctic. Uh, yes. Was safe. But again, you see now in a daily occurrence, and sadly, yes. people speed round about and you know another thing Scotty these new modern cars they've gone into the car and they think their headlights are on and you're driving down the road in the dark there's no back lights on now yes they're, they're speeding down they don't see them so the manufacturers are believing at the fault as well but having said that obviously these things are there and people should be driving to the road conditions now we don't know what's happened yesterday now listening to the news earlier on that junction where the crash happened in the past five years, sadly, six people have lost their lives. Yes, yes, absolutely. And I think, uh, uh, you know, I'm just so grateful that nobody um, was seriously hurt. Absolutely, and I hope everybody can uh, recover well and get back. And as you rightly said, get back behind the wheel. Or as if you fall off a horse, you get back on and ride it. So get back yes. behind the wheel and I hope everybody... Uh, I hope everybody's safe and especially the, the young one as well who was in the car at the time, Scotty. The wee, the wee baby, absolutely. And it's just, it's it's an absolute miracle. But I, I hope His Royal Highness doesn't think that he's now got to go off the road just because he's 97. No, I would hope not. And I would hope that he would continue to drive and he would continue to take his car out, Scotty. And even, and, and, I, and I'm sure he will, he'll hit the 100 mark. And I'm hoping that he's still driving at that point in time. And, and all I listened to Dave in the office was, oh, this is all we're hearing. If it had been anybody else, it wouldn't have been there. I says, but if you take it into account, that's the Queen's husband. I says, at the end of the day, that man, and they said, well, you should take a bus like everybody else. Says, that man's a national treasure. I says, and that man's there. But if he can still drive his car, best of luck to him, Scotty. Absolutely. And what that man has done for this country, this country owes that man a massive, massive debt of gratitude. Absolutely. He was a captain in the Second World War, and he fought yep. in this country the same as our other veterans. So he gets the utmost respect. And as an ex-member of the Royal Navy myself, Scotty, the man has the utmost respect for myself. And I think the, the majority of the, the nation 
would support the man because of what he done for this country during yes. the 1945 war, the Second World yes. War. Yes, and he gave up his naval career to be at the Queen's side, and that is pretty good stuff. He did indeed, and at the end of the day, he's a national treasure, and it'll be a sad day when he leaves this mortal coil, Scotty. Absolutely. Listen, you've just rounded off the most fantastic radio programme. A wonderful evening. Now, we're going to put our toys away and we're going to do it all again tomorrow night and Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp, 3 until midnight. And I thank everyone, including your good self, for partaking tonight. Thank you, Scotty. Scotty, can I just say one thing before I go? Very quickly. Let's have a Brexit-free show tomorrow night. All right, all right. Just since you've asked for it, I'll do my best. You're Can't guarantee boy. it, but I'll do my best. You're the nation's <laughs> legend, Scotty. You're an absolute legend. Good evening to yourself, sir. Good night and God bless you, sir. There we are. We are out of time, folks. Thanks very much for joining us. Join us tomorrow night, 10 o'clock sharp. Keep it here, keep it clear, keep it nation radio, just for you. There's a Scotty McClue saying, dinky do. Scotty McClure's Nightline returns tomorrow night from 10 on Nation Radio. Keep in touch with us on Facebook. Just search for Nation Radio Scotland and hit like. Nation Radio. Evenings with ScotchWhiskeyAuctions.com, the world's largest online whiskey auction.